So we actually just learned some interesting lessons. That the probability of any random variable y can be written as probability of y given that some other random variable x assumes value i times probability of x equals i summed over all possible outcomes i for the random variable x. This is called total probability. The second thing we learned has to do with negation of probabilities. We found that probability of not x given y is 1 minus probability of x given y. Now, you might be tempted to say, what about the probability of x given not y? Is this the same as 1 minus probability of x given y? And the answer is absolutely no. It's not the case. If you condition on something that has a certain probability value, you can take the event you're looking at and negate this, but you can never negate your condition variable and assume that these values add up to 1. We assume there is uh, sometimes sunny days and sometimes rainy days, and on day 1, which we're going to call D1, probability of sunny is 0 0.9. And then it's assumed that a sunny day follows a sunny day with 0.8 chance, and a rainy day follows a sunny day with, well, well, the correct answer is 0 0.2, which is a negation of this event over here. A sunny day follows a rainy day with 0 0.6 chance, and a rainy day follows a rainy day. Please give me your number. 0 0.4. So what are the chances that D2 is sunny? Suppose the same dynamics apply from D2 to D3, so we'll just replace D3 over here with D2s over here. That means the transition probabilities from one day to the next remain the same. Tell me what's the probability that D3 is sunny? So the correct answer over here is 0 0.78, and over here it's 0 0.756. To get there, let's compute this one first. Probability of D2 equals sunny. Well, we know there's a 0.9 chance it's sunny on D1. And then if it's sunny, we know it stays sunny with 0.8 chance. So we multiply these two things together, we get 0 0.72. We know there's a 0 0.1 chance of it being rainy on day one, which is the complement. So if it's rainy, we know it switches to sunny with 0.6 chance. So we multiply these two things, we get 0. 0 0.06, adding those two up equals 0 0.78. Now for the next day, we know our prior for sunniness is 0 0.78. If it is sunny, it stays sunny with 0.8 probability. Multiplying these two things gives us 0 0.624. We know it's rainy with 0 0.22 chance, which is the complement of 0 0.78, but at 0.6 chance, it moves to sunny, if you multiply those as 1 point, or 0 0.132, adding those two things up gives us 0 0.756. So to some extent it's tedious to compute these values, but they can be perfectly computed as shown here. The next example is a cancer example. Suppose this specific type of cancer which exists for 1% of the population. I'm going to write this as follows. You can probably tell me now what the probability of not having this cancer is. And yes, the answer is 0 0.99. Let's assume there's a test for this cancer, which gives us probabilistically an answer whether we have this cancer or not. So let's say the probability of a test being positive, as indicated by this plus sign, Given that we have a cancer, is 0 0.9. Probability of the test coming out negative if we have the cancer is, you name it, 0 0.1, which is the difference between 1 and 0 0.9. Let's assume the probability of the test coming out positive, given that we don't have this cancer, is 0 0.2. In other words, probability of the test correctly saying, we don't have the cancer if we're cancer free is 0 0.8. Now, ultimately, I'd like to know what's the probability they have this cancer 
given that I just received a single positive test. Before I do this, please help me filling out some other probabilities that are actually important, specifically the joint probabilities, probability of positive test and having cancer, probability of a negative test and having cancer. And this is not a conditional anymore, it's now a joint probability. So please give me those four values over here. And here the correct answer is 0 0.009, which is the product of your prior 0 0.01 times the conditional 0.9. Over here we get 0 0.001 probability of a prior cancer times the 0 0.1. Over here we get 0 0.198. Probability of not having cancer is 0 0.99 times still getting a positive reading which is 0 0.2. And finally we get 0 0.792. It's the probability of this guy over here and this guy over here.